All right, guys. Well, it seems like there is a major problem now. We have the cops here on the pier. Welcome to another day in Port Carroll, Florida. Today we're doing something special. We are boarding one of Royal Caribbean's Freedom Class cruise ships for a three-night cruise down to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, departing Port Canaveral, Florida. We're going to take you along through all this process, so if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you can learn about new videos in this series. Without further ado, let's go ahead and board Independence of the Seas. This is the gangway here. Um, there's two gangways. You can see Carnival Liberty actually is down there, over there. The luggage is right down there. Pretty cool process here. But yeah, without further ado, we're about to take our first steps on board Independence of the Seas, so let's go ahead and do that. We're about to be on board Independence of the Seas. So yeah, we made it on board guys now and we are gonna head to our uh, mustard drill now. Sorry right, folks, we got the mustard drill done. Very simple, again, uh, use the Royal Caribbean app to find your mustard drill station. Do that when you first get on board, as I mentioned earlier. Saves you a bunch of time. All right guys, so it is embarkation day. That is correct. So one of the things we have to do is, you know, you're on a cruise, you have lots of great food choices. We're gonna go get some of that food. But the problem is you gotta burn the calories off. So one of the things I recommend, taking the stairs before you eat, you can burn those calories and you can indulge just a little bit more. Now we're here on deck seven. I think the windjammer's on like deck 10, 11, not quite sure. So we'll go up there and show you around the windjammer. So folks, we had lunch there at the Windjammer. It was exceptional as always. Now this is one of the primary options for lunch on embarkation day. So if you do come on board, again, the Windjammer is your primary option for food and beverage here on board the Independence of the Seas. There are other restaurants scattered around such as Sorrento's, but those hours may vary. Now, we're just gonna walk around, explore the vessel here, gonna hit the floor rider, one of my favorite things to do on board a Royal Caribbean ship a little bit. Uh, we got the departure coming up here. That's gonna be exciting, of course. We're gonna show you the best we can. I'm gonna be walking you through step by step, you know how I usually show you via shore side uh, with the departure as well. Today, we will be showing you via the Independence of the Seas. It's gonna be absolutely Absolutely amazing. Alrighty folks, so we are now here inside the uh, the West Base and as you can see here, that's uh, the way out to the channel. So the uh, first ship here is the uh, Q Ocean Service here. This is the LNG barge that is used for the Mardi Gras. Um, they're actually getting fuel uh, in to the Q Ocean Service here via land side, uh, just so they can stay here in Canaveral a little bit longer. Uh, Sensei will be also going to Miami in a few months to do the Carnival Celebration. So that is the uh, Q Ocean Service right there. Moving up, we have the Daniel P. Bile and then we have uh, its military barge right there. Um, you also got the uh, launch pads in the background. See if I can focus the camera for y'all. Um, those are some launch pads in the background. Um, that's a uh, Space Launch Complex 40 right there. That's where SpaceX launches the Falcon 9. Then you move along over here. That's pad 39A over there. That's where the, currently the Falcon Heavy is and Starship. So that's all the way over there. Now we're gonna pan over here to the uh, West Basin of Port Canaveral. Below there, is um, the North Cargo Number 3 project. I'm gonna do like a quick little pan around for you guys. As you can see, they're making good progress. This will be used for cargo ships, for uh, SpaceX, and those other maybe lumber ships right over there. North Cargo Berth Number 3. Um, also, now you can see this other bulk carrier ship here. Zoom in a little bit there. Um, it is doing lumber discharge here. You also have none other than the motor vessel Shannon, which is a dragon recovery ship. The drone ship, just read the instructions. You also see the tug of Scambia, which of course we love here on the channel. And you also have a bulk carrier. You also have the motor vessel Bob. And then if we go ahead and pan around here, you have the Tug Polaris, and then you also have the, the Dizzy Wish, actually. Now, finishing up our tour, uh, you also have down there the motor vessel Megan. So, already, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the quick harbor tour around Port Canaveral. I do apologize for the uh, shakiness here. Uh, but it is quite windy up here on the upper decks. Uh, and of course, I was using this good camera without a tripod, so I do apologize. But that was the harbor tour, a very quick one at that. Of course, lots going on here, Port Canaveral, Florida, but hope you did enjoy it and seeing the port from different perspective, because of course, when we film the ship spawning videos, we're down, actually, I'll show you where we are, we're usually when we film the ship spawning videos of this terminal. So actually, normally, we're right down uh, down there at uh, Gill's to film the back end of the ship, uh, and then Rusty's way over there, so just give you a scale of just how massive this port is, and 
feels great to see from another perspective. So all right, folks, we made it here to the Flow Rider. Gonna be riding that thing in just a little bit now. In these vlog series, I wanna show you the best tips uh, to have the best cruise experience possible, guys. One of those is, of course, on embarkation day, bring a swimsuit because you can use these facilities. They're open up around like one o'clock if you're using like, the water slides or something, or even in the pool, it's already open. You can go to the pool with little to no lines. Everyone, so we are here now. Tug Polaris coming this way. Going to be outbound towards sea. It's the 18 barge. It's coming around the corner right now. Again, beautiful weather out here to be going on a cruise to the Caribbean. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see this ATB fueling barge depart the port. Folks, that was the departure of the ATB Polaris, and uh, she's off now to uh, off to Anchorage. Uh, we're getting ready to depart here four o'clock time. Uh, they're still loading baggage on, which I'm gonna show you some of that cool stuff over here. But making good progress to departure here. I have also a very special surprise for departure today. Uh, I have a very cool angle I'm gonna be trying to capture here. Hopefully, it all works out, but it should be pretty epic. Yeah. So this is one of the things I love about this class of vessel is that on board this ship they have a dedicated pizza joint. Uh, the sister ship, Mariners, which also will be doing three and four night cruises for the few months, does not have a dedicated pizza joint called Sorrento's. You have to go to Cafe Promenade. So this is a big upgrade, um, and I'm really looking forward to when a Lord of the Seas comes to Canaveral in uh, 2023. It's going to be massive. We got twice the size doing these three and four night cruises, uh, and it's going to have a whole lot more amazing amenities compared to the independence. So again, every year it just keeps getting better and better here at Canaveral. So I am heading out to the helipad as we speak right now. So it probably is gonna be very windy, so I do apologize, but the Liberty is getting underway here and this is arguably the best view. And again, this is deck five forward of the ship. So you can cut through, I believe the Star Lounge to get over here, but you get some insane views of the cruise ship departing. And also right in front of us, point this out, and this is the bunker barge, Miss Juanita. If you're a cruise ship and you sell a Canaveral that's not Royal Caribbean and you're not LNG powered, you're gonna be using this bunker barge right here. The Miss Juanita, that's a very cool bunker barge operated by Centro Boat Rentals. And uh, again, this is a South Cargo Pier 4. So there goes the Carnival Liberty. Pilot boat number three is there. They'll be heading outbound to buoys five and six. And as soon as they get outbound, we should be able to join them. Uh, again, uh, that should be pending uh, them getting outbound towards sea, but. All right, guys. Well, it seems like there is a major problem now. We have the cops here on the pier and we tie it back up, which we can see up there. Not a good start to this cruise so far, guys. All right, guys. So now they are putting back in the uh, mobile gangway here. We're gonna be disembarking the person. Uh, very interesting situation going on here. All right, so update people have the bags for this passenger. Two bags. Uh, have to wait and see what else is happening. We're staying tuned as we monitor the situation here. Alright guys, so they dropped off people who are needing to be dropped off and now the crew are singling up again. We're going to start getting underway here. Now we should be getting underway here in just a moment. Alright now, they dropped the lines now, so should be getting underway here in just a second. Guys, so there we go. We are now pushing off here of uh, Port Canaveral, Florida. See you on Monday, Port Canaveral.
So that was the sail away of the independence of the seas from Port Canaveral, Florida. The pilot transfer is complete. Uniquebec was our pilot here, Niall. He brought us out here, did a smooth transfer on board the pilot boat number three. And now we are underway here, so you know what that means. It is time for an evening of fun on board Royal Caribbean's Freedom Class ship, the Independence of the Seas. All right, guys, so it is the evening now. We're getting ready for dinner. I thought I would show you the room tour because I did not do that yet, so let's go ahead and hop in here in the room. We get inside here. Uh, in here, you got a closet. Um, then we go into here. We have yourself a bathroom with all your necessities. You got your toilet. You got your Star Trek aspired. I don't know, maybe not, but you got your stall here, you know, with a shower and everything. Um, you got room for your toiletries. You got room to see Tyler, the cruise junkie himself. That's right. So you got it here. You got mirrors. These mirrors actually open up, so you have room to, to store things in here, which is absolutely amazing. I've got your cups down here, of course. This is great. Of course, you got your sink, soap, and you got plenty of towels. So you got your bigger towels here, your smaller hand towels here. Again, you also have your garbage here. Now, do not flush things down the toilet, okay? It's very, very crucial here. So, all right, moving along here, guys. This is a couch that turns into a bed, okay? Also, you have this nice vanity space. As you can see here, that's where I put my camera gear, but you have a beautiful space here. You also have the stateroom TV, which of course we put on our favorite channel, which is the navigation channel. As you can see, we uh, just left Port Canaveral, Florida. And then you have your main bed right here. That's right, so this can sleep two people, one person. You can sleep as much people as you want, but approximately two max capacity, but uh, you have a beautiful bed here, of course. I'm um, split into half, I believe, too, with moving those nightstands. Uh. All right, folks, so now this is the balcony here for the independence of the seas, as you can see here. Canaveral is back that way, folks, and then the bridge is over this way. So really beautiful balcony here. Of course, you've got two chairs uh, and a table, of course, here. Again, really good views of the ship. Again, this is on the starboard side, bow, and... Uh, looks really really great so hope you enjoyed this mini cabin tour now let's go ahead to the dining room for some dinner <laughs> Alrighty folks, so that was dinner in the main dining room. It was extremely good, like I mean extremely good as per usual. Uh, for tonight, I got the course on the classics menu. If you're familiar, dining room here in Royal Caribbean, slept into two menus. You got your basically your daily, what's which again, which what the chefs make in daily. Um, those are those fluctuate every day, and then you have your classics. Your classics are every day, every Royal Caribbean cruise, they stay the same. Um, so I got off the classics menu for an appetizer. I got a Caesar salad and it was fantastic. Uh, we also had none other than the Southern fried chicken, which was really good. Um, really did enjoy it as well. And of course I got the apple blossom, which is basically an apple pie. And that was again, as usual, again, 10 out of 10 for the apple pie. Um, now again, I am calling it an evening here on board Independence Seas. It's been a long, long day here. We have a very exciting day uh, in Nassau, Bahamas tomorrow. It'll be a fun day nonetheless on board Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas. Thanks for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing and clicking the bell so you'll learn about new videos when they come out. I've been your host, Tyler, and you are watching The Tyler Show. Have a good evening, everyone.